balls, Dewey. Dude, that's a freaking, that, that is a double digit, dude. Oh my God, I barely feel them on, dude. That fish is so big. What is poppin', boys and girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today we're out at this beautiful lake and it's loaded with cypress trees, very shallow water, has a ton of grass in it. I'd say the maximum depth in here is five foot. We actually took a trip about a week ago out here just to kind of experiment, get to know the water, and just see if there's really big fish in here. And we talked to a few supporters before we dropped in the last time and they said it's a very tough fishery. It's hard to get these fish to bite. There's a lot of pressure here. So we're just gonna have to go out today, try our best to catch a really big bass, but I have a plan for that. Let me show you. So we're doing something today that we've never done before on the channel. And I'm super excited about it. This is like a style of video that I think you guys are gonna enjoy. I wanna know your feedback down below. So, you know, we have all these big baits. You got big swim baits, you got big top waters, you got big jigs, you got big worms. We always film videos like that. Today I have one of the biggest topwaters, bass fishing topwaters I have ever seen. To be honest with you, I think this is the biggest walking bait in the bass fishing world that, that I've ever seen. I, I've, I've thrown a bunch of big walking baits before, but I've never seen one this big. This is by Strike King. It's just a massive, you know, it's very similar, same design as the Sexy Dog, except this thing is huge. Like, look at it compared to my hand. You can really tell how big that bait is. So what I'm gonna do is go out on this lake today and throw this bait all day long. I'm not gonna put it down. That can go two different ways. We can either catch some really big fish on it or I could literally catch zero fish today. So that's the challenge, is getting this bait out on the water, throwing it all day long in the hopes that we will catch a double digit bass and just see what it's gonna do. This is a cool little experiment because it's gonna kinda go to show, you know, every time I go out and film a video, I'll go through like a little Texas rig, I'll go through a worm, I'll go through a crawl, just so we can get some content for you guys to see. But today we're gonna put all that aside and literally just focus on this big bait and see how the day turns out. So let's go ahead and get on the water, start casting this big boy and see if we can catch a double digit bass today. We just got in the water. So here's the experiment. Massive, massive walking bait. If we throw this all day today, are we gonna catch none? Are we gonna catch some big ones? Are we gonna catch one really good bite? I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's go ahead and get it started. Cypress trees look beautiful. It's a really nice day out here. And I just hope we can get a really big one on this thing. So we're gonna put this to work, make hundreds of casts with this and see what the outcome is in a few hours. Kind of stand further off. They won't feel that trolling motor too, because thing is kicking. I just don't want anything to spook them. And then I throw this thing in there, and it leaves a boil all the way across the lake. But working it a little slower too instead of like going like this it just kind of like pop pause pop So the color that I'm throwing right now is like this natural color. It's got purple on the top, green right below it, and then it's got like a just regular white on the bottom. I think I'm gonna switch up to a different color. I've been throwing this for a minute. I haven't really seen anything, nothing happened. And I know it sounds crazy, but simply changing your color, especially on a big walking bait like that, can make a world of a difference. You know, if they don't want that color, I could sit here and throw it all day, have about five blowups on it, and they might not commit. 
if I put the right color on, you'll start to see that these bass might commit and start eating it. So I have a few different colors of these top waters in this box right here. As you guys can tell, we got all of them. We got seven in there right now. We have a bone color, we have chrome, we have a shad color, and then that natural color right there. Usually on a sunny day, there's a lot of sun peeking through. I really like throwing a chrome. So I think I'm gonna try it for a little bit. It does feel weird throwing a chrome top water out here at this lake, but you know what? We're gonna give it a shot. I've had a lot of luck in the past with chrome when it's super bright outside, the sun's out. If it was super cloudy and it was casting like a big shade on the water, I'd say that bone color or that color I was just throwing would probably be the best. But since the sun's out, we're gonna give this chrome a try, throw it around for about 30 minutes, see what we learn from it. And if we have to adjust and adapt and throw a different one, then that's what we'll do. That's that big girl right there. So watch this chrome flash in the water. We'll just give it a little toss out. See when that sun hits that chrome, it's putting off such a glare. I don't know if this is gonna be too intimidating though, but I just wanna try out different colors because I've noticed in the past, you know, you can sit here and throw a color that they're just not eating and you switch up and it's like night and day difference, which I don't expect to get a hundred bites on this today, but you know, just simply changing that color could seriously make a big difference. Another thing that I'm gonna actually pay attention to today is throwing this bait out there and playing around with different retrieves. You know, like a standard walking bait retrieve would just be like this, working it fairly fast. But since this bait's so big and it can glide very well, I think the strategy that I'm gonna start off with is throwing it out there, giving it one pop and then a dash, giving it another pop, another pop, See, I'm working it a lot slower. I'm not doing this. I'm just doing this. Pop, 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 pop. I think that's gonna be the technique that we use today to catch one of these megas out here on this lake. So let's get to work. Dude, there's a huge boil right there, right in front of me. See it kind of going away? Oh, it's right in front of you? Yeah, it's right in front of me. Oh my God, look at that boil. Dude, he just took off to the right, past that, off that tree. Dang, look at it, he just boiled right, right under me right now. Dang, dude, that sucks. I gotta do it, I gotta pick up my frog. Can't cast up in there. See all that grass, just. It'd be impossible to work that big guy through.
Dude, it's eight foot right here, bro. What if this is the trick? We need to get over here by this dam the whole time. Like all these trees, watch them be loaded. It's a freaking that that is a double digit dude oh my god i barely feel him on dude that fish is so big watch he's about to jump he's right here he's right dude that's a 10 pounder bro i'm not even playing with you he's gonna come up to the net i barely he doesn't feel big dog but i know how large this fish is oh my gosh <laughs> he's not he's not a 10 pounder he's not a 10 pounder. that's a giant he came all the way out of the water for that thing guys that is this is the best feeling in the world honestly we just came over by the dam what i was telling connor and cody is this lake it's hard to figure out because it's all cypress trees nothing more than that and it's like you can't just say hey let's go fish a point but there's a dam over here we just found deeper water and I just caught like a solid, what'd you say, that is six pounds? Yeah. It's a freaking mega, dude. I thought he was every, dude, I seriously thought I had an eight to 10 pounder when he came up. He Did you see how big he looks? He dude, that, it could have been in my head too. I was like, bro, we've been talking about it this whole time. Like, dude, if I get a bite, it's gonna be a 10 pounder. So maybe that, but my brain tricked me, but that is a giant. That is a monster. <laughs> Straight freaking piggy. Beautiful fish. That is the best feeling in the world. When you come out here, especially like on a day like today, you know, I was throwing that bait for a good couple hours. Didn't have any bites at all. You know, we still stayed confident, um, had a positive attitude about it, kept throwing the bait, moved spots to somewhere different to where it would make a little more sense and just had a monster destroy it. So let's get back in here and see if there's some more. I know there's some more fish in this area. We're just gonna have to hunker down see if we can catch them. So if you guys have made it this far in the video, one, thank you so much. And two, we actually came out here the first time, ended up catching a few fish. I'm gonna go ahead and cut to that while we're hunting for these big ones with this top water, because we did catch a really good one the last trip. So let's go ahead and play that right now. <gasps> oh my God. Dude, that was a, throw, throw back in there, Connor. That was a freaking hoss, bro. That was a freaking hoss. Did you hear that blow up? Oh, he was to your left, bro. He's like right here. That's where he bit you. I was just slow rolling. Like that was it. And of course I wasn't looking at all. Oh my god. Dude, he's got me. I got him. He's a monster. Get the net? Yeah, get the net. Oh gosh. I just took your fish, bro. No, dude, it's all good. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. That's a good one, though. He's not as big as I thought he was, but that's a good one. <laughs> Look at that fish, guys. That's a solid four, four plus right there. Maybe pushing five. On a swim jig, Connor had him blow up on it, blow up on his buzz bait. It was just crazy, the noise that it made. And I just threw that swim jig in there and he just tackled it. That's a solid four plus right there. That's a big fish. <laughs> that is a monster, he ate that swim jig. Let's get a good shot on him. You gotta love it. All right, guys, we're gonna get this baby back in the water. Or not baby, that's a big girl. Almost five pounder, but gotta love it. Straight pancake. Thank you, baby. There she goes. 
<laughs> Give me some, Cody. I'm sorry, Connor. I feel bad, bro. Like, that was. I wasn't paying attention. Cody was distracting me and we missed it. Sorry, man. My good looks. <laughs> so, guys, uh, we're going to switch up right here. Got this KVD's Perfect Plastics Finesse Worm. This is actually in plum. And it's like this tannic water out here. This plum color might look pretty saucy. I've been throwing that little rage crawl, and there's just so much grass in here. I think maybe throwing a bigger presentation. It's really not that big. Do I have anything bigger than this? I don't know if I got any super large ones. I kind of like this color too. I'm not sure that. It's like a black and blue swirl. We're going to put that worm on for a little bit. Cover some of these cypress trees and see what we can put together. Maybe they'll bite it a little better. You got one? Is that a fish or a minnow? What was that? Was it a bass? It was a little bass. Like a little, a little tiny really bass. bass. Did you see how dark it was? <laughs> yeah. You guys so excited over that bite too. I know. What do, you, what do you guys think? The plum or the black and blue? Plum, black and blue. I say black and blue. This water's yeah, pretty I'd dark. Yeah, I'd say that too. I'll try it. Plum looks interesting though. Mm -hmm. the shot See, it, it'd work in here because, yeah, the water's a little murky, but it's actually clear. Like, it's yeah. really clear. Yeah. It's just like tannic color. But throwing a worm might do the trick. I think if we had a lizard too, I know that's wacky, but a lizard. Ooh, catch I might actually have some. Show that. Very plain and simple. Pickerel. Old Jackie. Well guys, I had to cheat. I'm telling you, I couldn't, I couldn't show you guys just one fish in a video, so I had to switch up to a worm. And caught me an old jackfish. Old little pike. On a Texas rigged worm, which is very interesting. But I will take it, man. He bit really good, I'm not gonna lie. I just was throwing that top water for so long and you know we only have a certain amount of time out here i was like you know the purpose was just to throw it all day but at the same time you know connor's been fishing in the back too it's just been a struggle man it's been really hard to get these bites so when in doubt you got to pull out a worm and catch a few i just would feel really bad if we posted a video and had one fish even though it's a it's launch and don't get me wrong i'm still going to throw this top water today but every once in a while i will be picking up this worm and just toying around you feel it all right, let's do it right here, Connor. Dude, it does look sauce. She probably me you. Oh. Oh yeah, what a toad. Uh. Hey man, better than nothing, right? It is. This is better than not catching one on an old wormy. I've been trying for a minute. He's not big at all, but you can tell these look like Florida bass, don't they? Look so dark. Should be up, being up in all that grass and all these cypress trees. We just came back in this little cut just to try it. It looks so good and we got us one. Connor said he missed a really good one back there. So hopefully there's some more fish in this area. It's been hard with this lake. It just, I don't know what it is. Maybe the place has a ton of pressure, but every fish has been few and far in between. It's not like we have been able to get on any sort of pattern. This lake is loaded with cypress trees. There's like nothing that makes any of them different than one another. I mean, the other end of the lake's super shallow. This end of the lake's a little deeper. These fish are post spawn right now. None of them haven't caught one that's that's not post spawn. We, there's a couple boats that I've put in in the last couple hours. Haven't really seen anybody do anything, but 
I mean, the only thing that we can do is just keep covering water in hopes of finding another really big one. There he is. I got him. This is a different fish. He's not big. There we go, guys. Got another one back in this little slit, this little cut back here. Not a big one, another small one. It's crazy. We've caught some really good ones out here, but also, you know, catching some really tiny guys. I threw right up in there. You got these cypress trees all around us. This side of the lake and this little pocket that we just found, you can tell it's, it's a lot shallower, but there's not as much grass. Like there's a ton of grass on the other end of the lake. This is more of just these cypress trees. And if you look over here, you can tell I just threw right up in between those trees and um, went right over that stump and he ate it immediately. It wasn't on a cypress tree, it was on one of those laydowns that are cut over. Maybe that's something we need to be looking for. And another thing is just getting super tight with that cover. I like it over here because there's not much grass, so you can work your bait a lot slower. Um, when you have all that grass, you're trying to just pop the worm a lot, but let's see if there's some more in here. We caught two bass. I think there can be some more around this edge. Like, how is there not a fish? How is there not a fish in this cut? That's the words that were literally coming out of my mouth. Then I snagged this guy. He's better than the last two I caught. We still haven't found any giants like the big old monster Big Daddy Topwater has caught today, but I will tell you, we've had a great time. We have thrown a ton of cast and I wish we've caught a little bit more fish, but we're making it work. Catch a fish here and there. And uh, that is a pretty one. I'm just glad he ate a chatterbait. You know, the other ones came on a worm and a big top water. Gotta love that chatter donk bite. Give me some Cody Bob. Yep. Wow, what a day. We had a lot of fun out there. Caught a massive one on that top water. I know I was supposed to fish with that the whole time, but I could just not walk away from this place and only show you guys one fish in a video. It just would not feel right for me to do that. There would definitely be other days where we go out and throw that bait all day. It wasn't the right bait that we should be throwing right now. One thing that I didn't even mention, this is the day after a full moon as well, which can be very tough. And uh, we saw that today. You know, we ended up catching around four or five fish, which is, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely happy with. I wish we would have got some bigger ones, but we did catch the big one on the top water and that was exciting. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate the love and support and I will catch you guys in the next video.